Hello! We're gonna be doing another bee vlog today. It's only been a few weeks since the last time we came out here and I showed you the bees and we were preparing to add two more hives to the three that we already have. Well, lots happened in the couple weeks since we've been out here. Well, since I've been out here. Now we have six. So the last time that we were out here, we had hives one, two, and three, is that right? And we were out here because they were making room for hives A and B, which is the yellow one and the blue one. But since then, we may have another one, which is this little one over here, which will be called C. So we're taking a look at B right now, seeing what's going on in there. We'll do the same thing in the yellow one. Well, I won't do anything. I'll just stand here and film. They're gonna do it. And then take a look in the little one and see what's happened over there. So what happened was number two was so huge. It had so many bees in it that Jerry uh, split it into thirds. He made A and B out of number two. Plus number two is still in there. So today we're gonna look and see if, they, if the queen is hatched. Um, what's going on, what they're doing. It's been a couple of weeks now since he made that split. When he split them, there was some queen cells, they would call them swarm cells, that he put into each one of the hives along with some bees so that hopefully a queen has them. on Tuesday and we have not looked inside of it yet.
So you just looked in the blue one, which is B, and the yellow one, which is A. What you're basically looking for is to see if there's any sign of a queen Correct. coming, hatching. So when he split number two into A and B, it, he split into thirds. So he left some stuff in two, put some bees and brood, which is the eggs um, that are getting ready to be baby bees. He gave them some nectar and honey. There were these things called swarm cells hanging down, which would mean that they were building queens. They were raising some queens. So we put some of them in each of those two hives, A and B, in hopes that one of them would hatch and then they will become their own new colony with a queen. So after she hatches, it's a cycle of days, and I, um, we're not sure exactly how many days it would take because we don't know how many days the queen was already growing in the cell that was in two. <laughs> so what was basically happening in two, which is the bigger white one, it was the one that was in the middle, still is kind of in the middle. You found those cells in there, I guess like during a hive ex inspection, you saw that those cells were in there, which meant that eventually some would break off and try to find their own new home. Is that what was gonna exactly. happen with they, their own they, new queen? Uh, a beehive will split up on its own, what they call a swarm. The queen leaves along with half of the bees that are in there and they'll fly off into a tree somewhere and they go and search out a new home leaving half of the bees in the hive and then a new queen would hatch in that hive the original queen would leave yeah. with the swarm and then a new one from those like cells that you saw in there would have hatched in there so to avoid losing half of your bees basically you tried to split that up before it happened on its own correct that's exactly right so now they're just waiting to see if a queen is showing up in either or both of these new hives the a and b the yellow and blue ones and so far it's too early to tell you can't really tell if there's a queen Correct. It's been two weeks since he did that split. He's pretty sure the original queen is still in number two. If you look at how busy things are still going on over there, and especially now that we've taken a look in A and B, there's no eggs that we can see. There's no new development of baby bees. So most likely, 99%, that the original queen is still in hive two, the white hive. So getting back to C, we knew that we had caught some bees in there on Tuesday, but we did not take a look inside because we didn't want to disrupt them. Uh, we could see them coming and going, and so today was the first day that we took a, took a peek in there, and there really isn't that many, and again, we did not see a queen with them or any eggs or anything like that going on. So it's really small. Eventually, you might just combine it with one of the other hives or add some. You can actually add eggs from another hive to help them out, to help them grow a queen. And you know, we'll, we'll have to see, because we haven't seen what's going on in number one over here. We could have some swarm cells in there that he might be able to add to see to get them started with a queen. But we'll just see what happens. It's been several hours now. <laughs> They're going back into the hive. So I said that I would film from afar this time. We'll have to get an explanation later of what they're actually doing. Okay, so what just happened? So what he did was after thinking about this morning and what he found in C, that swarm that we found that was so tiny, he went into our hive one, took out two frames of nurse bees and brood, put them into that tiny box of C, and put blank frames back into 
uh, number one, close that all up, and now that just gives them some more bees to grow. Hopefully, putting those two frames in the really tiny one will help their chances of growing, maybe get a queen, survival. survival. Yep. All right, cool. It. it is so hot out here. Oh my I don't even know how God, you're wearing that. It's crazy in there, too. There's so many bees. All right, well, thank you for watching. Check out my mom's Instagram if you haven't seen it yet. It's Side Yard Honey on Instagram. I will link that down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any other bee update vlogs. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those links are down below.